Hi guys, um, how are you guys today? What are you guys up to? Comment down below what you're doing this weekend because I would totally love to know. Um, I personally, I'm my, my family and I are going to go to the Children's Space Museum. Uh, I don't know where it's at, but it's a big old cute thing. It's kind of about like by Angel Stadium in Anaheim a little bit. But that's what we're doing this weekend. Okay, and today we are going to shoot um, a tutorial. It's not really a take on anything. It's more of just a regular water modeling tutorial that I'm going to do. Um, it's just going to be like a green color sequence too. Um, there's nothing really special about this one. Just some glitter maybe. We'll see where it takes us. But um, hopefully you guys will just enjoy this tutorial as much as I did filming it. And uh, let's get to the video. Okay, so this is the nail design. And these are the colors and the products I'm going to be using. This um, is the Wet n Wild from the Wild Shine Collection. It is French White Cream. Works really well. And then this is Milani from the Neon Collection. It is Fresh Teal, number 504. It's really pretty. You think it's really green, but then you actually open it and it's kind of a blue. And then you have China Glazes, two yacht to handle, 1216. I used this in the previous video, and it works amazing. Then you're obviously going to need your little tub of water. Um, you're also going to need a top coat, just regular top coat. Some tape would be very handy. You don't really need it, but I recommend it. And a flathead brush to clean up your messes. And some tweezers can be needed, but um, it depends. Some cotton pads and some acetone. You can use nail polish remover as well. And this is just the glue base color that I told you guys about before, just to clean up the edges if you don't want to use tape. And the skewer to clean up, uh, actually to create it. And then you're just going to paint your nails a white base. And then you're going to start with the teal color from the Milani. And you're going to want a pretty big amount and just hover it until the polish drops off. And it spreads evenly onto into your cup. Then you're going to want your next color. And just do the same thing. And just hover it and let it drop. And I usually like to do about three rings. See what I did there, and I accidentally dropped it too high, so the bottom, the some of the paint went to the bottom. So then I just did another little glob right next to it to spread it out evenly, and I just do this about three times. But depending on your nail length, you can do about four time, four to five times if you have really long nails. If you have short nails, you can do it about two times. But I think three works best um, out of anything. So you just make your little bullseye, and then you're going to get your wooden stick, or if you have a dotting tool, you can totally use that too. And you're going to want to pull it after it's spreaded. It's spread. Now you're going to want to pull it two times like that. And then two times right next to it. It's okay if it disconnects because we'll fix that. And another two times to make a total of six. Now what you're going to want to do is bring it inwards. And what I like to do when I bring it inwards is lightly push it down. So that way no excess polish will be dragged along with it. And that's basically what you're going to do to all sides. Sometimes it will disconnect like you see on the lower part. But that's fine because you don't need to use all of them. And I'm going to strive for that little one right there. I'm just going to dip my finger in there. And I have already put my finger with tape. You're going to want to blow on the surface. And then clean up any messes. And once that, take it out. And you're going to want to repeat that on all of your nails until you have your satisfied look. And this is what I went with. Um, my pointer finger did mess up a little bit, so I had to go back with the polish and kind of slide it through, and it did not work out too well. But I hope you guys really liked the video. Like, subscribe, and rate. Share, please.